Hi, I'm Julie Elster, creator of www.com. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Disney's Rider Switch program. And I thought this would be a great topic because it can be a little bit confusing. And I have a little one, so I have had to take advantage of this. And it's a fantastic program that Disney does uh, while you're in the parks with your little guys so that you don't have to miss out on any of the rides that have height requirements. So, for example, let's say it's you and your partner and you're there with two kids. Let's say one kid's a little bit older and then you have a toddler with you who's gonna be too small to go on any of the rides with height requirements. But the rest of you, the other three of you, have your heart set on Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, and Seven Dwarfs Mine Trades, all these great rides with height requirements. So I wanna to talk to you about how it works and some of the ways you can really take advantage of Rider Switch and maybe get a few extra fast pass uses out of it. So first thing you wanna do, you need your entire party with you when you head over to the ride. So let's say four of you go up to Space Mountain, three who are tall enough, one who's a little guy who's not tall enough. You go to the cast member who's gonna be at the end of the line and you let them know you wanna take advantage of Rider Switch. So party one is the adult who's going to be riding and party two is the adult who's gonna be staying behind with the little one. So adult number one, party one, can go with the older child, let's say like a nine-year-old who's tall enough to go on the ride. You guys get in line, you go on the ride, the cast member will scan your magic band of party two so that the second person gets a fast pass for that ride. So as soon as you scan the magic band, it'll pop up on your app showing you a window when party two can come back and ride that ride. So party one gets in line, goes on the ride. Party two, you go find something else to do. You walk around, you go on a ride with a shorter wait with your little one. Then everybody meets up. Now what's cool about this is when you switch, that nine-year-old, that older child, can go on the ride again. So this kid gets to go on Space Mountain twice, while then party one, that adult, waits with the little kid. Now here's a great tip if you're gonna be using Rider Switch. When you're booking your Fast Pass selections, only book Fast Pass, so let's say you want Space Mountain Fast Pass. Only book the Fast Pass for party one. So let's say it's mom and the nine-year-old. Do not book the Fast Pass for dad and toddler, obviously not toddler, but don't book the fast pass for dad. Book it for mom, book it for the kid, so they get to go on, and then dad and the kid get the extra fast pass when the cast member scans their magic band. So this is a great tip if you have a toddler, you can kind of double up on your fast passes. So, you know, mom can choose fast passes for these three thrill rides, Dad can choose fast passes for other a different three rides. And then when you, now these rides have to have height requirements, but when you get to the ride, as long as all four of you are there, your magic band will be scanned by a cast member and that second party will get that fast pass. So you're not going on the rides at the same time, but this is a great way to maximize the number of rides that you get on. And then while you're waiting with the little one, you can go on rides that you know aren't gonna have a long wait. So like Mickey's Philharmagic maybe. That's great for little kids, they love it. There's never more than you know a 10 or 15 minute wait on that one. So that's a great option for getting more fast passes, for enjoying those thrill rides, and for making the most out of your Disney vacation. So I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the parks.